And now we're going to do the fourth scale and two-armed lever, which in some of our manuals is mistitled as the fourth scale and type two lever. But you'll know you're doing the same experiment as me if it's called workshop number 10. So workshop number 10 is not a type two lever. It is actually a type one lever. So just to clarify everything, this is a fourth scale and two-armed lever, which is actually a type one lever. So you're gonna need the Newton scale from your die cut sheet, stick a shaft plug into it in the bottom square hole, like this, and then let's get a base plate, one large frame on one side, and another large frame on the other side. And we're gonna take one short rod, use a medium rod. First, stick a small gear all the way to the stock, then put it in the bottom hole and stick another small gear. Then we're actually gonna push this through so that it's sticking out like this. All right, and then we're going to take a long axle we're gonna stick it through the fifth hole in one of the frames. So count one, two, three, four, five, and stick it through there. Then it's gonna go through the second hole. Then it's gonna go through a small gear. Then the top hole on your scale. Then through the fifth hole in the opposite frame. And then through a small gear again. So it looks like this. Take another long axle. This time the axle stop will be on this, this side. Again, go through the fifth hole. So one, two, three, four, five. Stick it through. Then stick a small pulley wheel. Then again, stick it through the fifth hole on the other side. Then through a small gear again. Take another long axle. Stick it through the second to bottom hole. And bottom of the frame, stick it through a small pulley wheel, like this, then stick it through the second to most bottom hole again in the other frame, and then another small gear. So there's two small gears right here, two small pulley wheels right here, and then this whole setup right here. Then we're going to stick short rod across the top so you can stick two anchor pins in the middle holes of both frames and then just stick a short rod. So now we have this part. Now we're going to need some more base plates. One more. Now we're going to need the two small frames on the fifth hole from the end. So one, two, three, four, five and then stick it down and the other one should mirror it. So one row away, five holes in. Then we're going to take the two long rods, stick them behind, like this, leaving one row empty. Then we're going to take two short rods. Two short rods. We're gonna stick them together with an anchor pin. Three holes in on each one. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Then stick a joint plug from the second hole in. Stick another joint plug on the second hole in right here. So this is what it looks like. And then we're gonna take a long rod. Stick it in the last hole right here, the first hole. So the stop is on this side. You stick it through the first frame, stick it through here, and then stick it through the second frame. On this side, you can add a small gear. And uh, over here, you're going to take a battery. So you're going to want to have a battery with you. You're going to take a rubber band. You stick the battery on top of it. And stick one loop through the other loop. 
about this. If there are any questions, please feel free to give us a call back. Thanks. This, and then stick this little loop on this shaft fin, like this. So we're just going to let this hang out while we had one last axle, the medium axle, and the medium sized pulley in the back of the setup, making sure that the side with the hole that's all the way to the bottom is facing to the outside. You're going to stick the stop in the second hole down. We're going to stick the medium pulley on the axle. And then you're going to stick this back where it was and then stick that axle again through the hole of the other long rod. And if you're worried that this is going to come out, then you can just stick an axle stop on the inside of the side that doesn't have the stop that's actually built into the axle. We still have a short axle we need to stick in the very top hole right here. And we can stick an axle stop on the side that doesn't have the naturally built in stop so that it'll stay where it is. So now we have this piece, we have this piece. Now we're going to add some string. So first you want to tie one end of the string onto that little, the little short axle on the very top of this that we just put on there. And you can look at the picture and see how it's tied on in the picture. So once it's tied on, you take the string. First it's going to go ar around, over and around this first small pulley. Then it's going to go under the bottom small pulley. Then it's going to go through the shaft pin that's at the end of the lever. So now you really have to straighten out your string because it's going to go through a, a little hole. So then after you stick it under the next pulley, you're going to have to take the string and stick it under the medium sized pulley at the back so you can pull the string all the way through and then up and through the shaft pin that's on the back here all the way through so you have it going over the this first small pulley on the top, under the next small pulley on the bottom, running underneath, going around the medium pulley in the back, and then through this shaft pin back here. Okay, so now we're holding on to the end of the string, but we forgot one thing, and that is, so the shaft plug that's in the Newton scale you might want to hold the string down with something. The shaft plug that's in the Newton scale, you have to fit it in to the frame so that it stands, so that it stays here. Okay, so now you can grab onto the end of the string and you can pull and let go and pull and let go. And you can see on the Newton scale what's going on. Because the lever pivots in the middle, this is the, the middle right here, the resistance arm, which is this, with the battery on it, moves downward with its load, the battery, while the effort arm, which is back here, where you're exerting your effort, simultaneously moves up and pushes the pointer of the force scale. So you can see that this moves down when these two are moving up. And that is your force scale and type 2 lever.